Oh it's been another morning time for all the members of the Actors Guild of Nigeria. Of course, um, this is concerning Junior Pope, the death of Junior Pope and other uh, crew members on their way back from movie location on the river and um, or rather connected to River Niger and Ambra State. Yes, yes, right here we also have the AMP members, AMP Association of Movie Producers coming together to uh, do a walk and a candle night for the deceased uh, practitioners. Yeah, Junior Pope and uh, every other person who passed, Abigail and other crew members. This is a live report of from your man T R E E Z E Trees, aka the priest, right here on the street of Lagos. The Association of Movie Producers of Chairpersons and Executives have had to fly all the way from Asaba uh, down to Lagos in order to join their uh, Lagos counterparts. What all the uh, personalities that you know came through. Um, is Ernest Obi, one of the veteran actors and producers, directors. Yes, Ernest Obi, the same Ernest Obi who brought Emeka Ike into limelight um, uh, in a very touching message to the movie producers as well as the crew members who need uh, to ask questions and take a responsibility for their safety uh, by demanding for the things they need on set and the things they need to make their work easier. Madam President, sir, to everybody representing every guild we have in this industry, ethics, people should stop filming my next job, especially my crew members. Once again, this is your man, T-R-E-E-Z-E-3, -E -E a.k.a. The Priest. Yes, reporting live. This is Beauty Niger exclusive. Kindly uh, click on the subscription button subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button as we proceed also like comment and share this video may the source of all the faithful departed through the message of god rest in peace amen I god is awesome he's ever faithful whatever happened god is, god already knew what will happen on that day before today okay so keep us again for Coming out, I want to appreciate all the AGM members, the AMP members, DCM members, CDGM members that are here, then the CSM members that are here. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. So before we move to the next item, we are going to be praying. We are going to be praying because before a month before now, I was in the camp for one month of in February. As soon as I stepped out of camp and I heard the Holy Spirit speaking to me, he said, corporate worship. Corporate worship. And I told my husband, I told some set of pastors that were with me, I said, this is what I'm saying. Why? And you know what God said? He said, because we have neglected him for so that I believe a day will come. God will give us the opportunity to do that as families, big families of the industry. Hallelujah. Amen. Right now, yes. it's not their business. 
This is our Nollywood. That's their Nollywood. That does not hang its clothes on just one man's door. It will get to everybody's turn. There's nothing you can do. When it's time, my time, I go. So, no. But you think, would there be any reason for anybody to celebrate you like this? Would there be any reason for anybody to stand up and walk the, take the walk we just took now? On your behalf. When you do not stand for others, when you are gone, you become nothing. You become inconsequential like the dot on the letter I. Nobody will stand for you. So it will get to everybody's turn. So let's wait. But this industry has gotten to the point where it needs to change. Under a week or so, we have become a mockery. People, even people do, who do not know anything about the film industry, I'm, I'm, I'm making postulations about how we should run the industry. So some people say, no, the guy, the guy was in the water, he was breathing. Is it that none of us could uh, give him mouth to mouth resuscitation? The guy was in water for three hours. Come on. Even be a traditionalist, I know that it's not possible for you to live in the water. There's something called spasm. Even when you are dead, even if you put a dead body in, in, in the mortuary, there's a possibility for him to still have after spasms. And everybody has been talking to the industry, bad mouthing the industry. Somebody, everybody has suddenly gone spiritual, telling us the reason why they were killed, why they died. We give them room to do that. Madam President, sir, to everybody representing every guild we have in this industry, ethics. People should stop filming my next job, especially my crew members. You will not die. Hunger has never killed anybody. Yes. If you have any other thing you're doing, do it by the side. Do your film, do something else by the side. Don't tell yourself you're depending solely on this business because we've not gotten to that point. Because mediocres have taken over. Everybody is a filmmaker. Everybody is a crew member. I can point to some people I have known here for over 20 years. And they're still struggling. And I came here today, I was filled with joy that you're still here. And then there are people who came in two months ago and they want to tell me about filmmaking and the film industry. That's all shades of wrong. This business is not about how many degrees you have. It's not about how many masters you have, how many film schools you've been to. It's about heart. And that's why these people died. They died because they had the heart for this business. They died because they love what they do. And so you push them, they push the wall like the average Nigerian. But today, enough of the talk. Crew members, get up, take a stand. All for one, one for all. If a makeup artist is being treated badly on set and you're a DP, stand up and say, No, sir, that's my fellow crew member, you can't do that. If a PA is being treated in a shoddy manner, stand up and say, No, sir, you can't do that. And they ask you, Is it concerned? It concerns us, all of us that crew members.